Hi guys, this is Maria. Welcome to the day in life of a stay-at-home mom with a newborn and a toddler. So our little man is three weeks old. I started filming this video when he was two weeks old, but my life goes around the clock 24 seven. So the days blur and merge. So the day in life starts at 11 o'clock and it's gonna end at 11 o'clock, 24 hours later, because I nurse through the night and um, you know, it never stops. If you're new to my channel, I am a mom to uh, two preemies. Both of them were uh, born at 35 weeks and uh, our son is doing great. Our daughter had some issues in the beginning. You can see the video on that, but some of the videos that are coming and something that I'm focusing on, it's a lot of developmental activities. We have a nursery tool coming for our little man. This weekend, we're also doing a newborn photo shoot and I'm gonna do a behind the scenes video that which I love doing those. Then another thing that is coming is Scarlett's second birthday. She's gonna be two in about two weeks and um, I will film it and give you some ideas on how to get ready, especially when you're running out of time. So make sure to like, subscribe and share it if you are into parenthood, tips, decor, fashion, any of those things, I love covering them. And now let's get to a day in life of a stay-at-home mom. Uh, no makeup, so excuse my looks, but true life. Hi guys, welcome to the day in life. It's 11 in the morning right now. And I decided why not start filming right now because my life goes around the clock so it doesn't really stop at 11 at night or 2 at night so I might as well start right this second. Uh, to keep things real, uh, there is no makeup. I might put some on if we're gonna get out today but I'm not sure about that. But uh, I'm about to go pump. I just feed, fed the little guy. He's napping and uh, I pump all the time so that's one of the things you do when you have a newborn. He's our little man napping after he just nursed. Uh, if, in case you're wondering why I'm not showing his face yet, because I'm rushing and we are very superstitious. So I'm about to wash some pump parts. I usually do it in the bathroom because I'm concerned about it. I typically use uh, Dr. Bonner's um, Pure Castile Soap. It's not a commercial. I've been using it. It's uh, the only one soap that doesn't have anything crazy added. You see the ingredients right here. Come in, love. Come in, Scarlett. Let's go. Let's go up, up, up. So I was planning to pump, but my mom and my dad... Disaster happening. Scarlett poured milk on the floor. A little Justin is gassy. I'm about to put her for a nap. So that's it. Yeah, good girl. I still can't pick up Scarlett, so she, can't, she has to walk herself all the way up the stairs. So uh, I'm about to put Scarlett for a nap. I tried to put her for a nap, so we have one-on-one -on -one time and snuggles. And I still didn't pump. Hopefully I'll get 20 minutes later, my daughter is asleep and now it's time to nurse the little guy again. I still didn't pump. Just finished nursing our little man. He eats a lot. I feel like it's every two hours or even more than that. Maybe he's snacking in between. But we just had his doctor's appointment and uh, he gained a pound since birth and grew an inch. So he's doing great and that's awesome. At least my sleepless nights are paying off. And now hopefully I'm gonna get to pumping almost an hour and a half later. Here's my storage system in action. Those don't have the uh, dates on them, but it's between Monday and Wednesday, so they are good. Babies are fed, I pump, now it's time to sort some laundry. That's laundry fun. is an everyday, multiple time a day affair with a toddler and a newborn. One peeps and poops all the time, the other one just loves being messy. Now it's time to finish lunch. I'm not gonna pretend I cooked the whole thing because my husband cooked some meat and my mom made the salad. My mom is staying with us, so I have a lot of help. I don't know how it's gonna happen later on, but for now, <laughs> So silly. Uh, for now, I have lots of help and it's awesome. So we just had lunch and Scarlett and I are doing some dishes. And so while we have guests, I can uh, do some more stuff. It's three o'clock, so I'm just gonna finish up the laundry and cleaning up. It became quite hot, so now it's outdoor fun all the way. My mama is uh, putting Scarlett in the hammock. She played in the pool, you see all the dirt. So yeah, now we're gonna go upstairs and play. Where is your eye? I good job. Where's your nose? Good job. Where's your ears? Ears? Yes! Teeth. Teeth? Right there. Stick out your tongue. Tongue? I'm about to make a little snack for Scarlett. She really likes popcorn and she's not been feeling really good today, so I'm gonna make her some organic popcorn on coconut oil. Somebody loves popcorn. Doesn't get it very often. It's usually uh, like a oh. once th in three weeks kind of snack. Time to change some diapers and nurse little man. I'm hurrying up because he's fussing. 
Well, Scarlet is on a walk with her grandma. I am with the little man. I just nursed him and he's been a little gassy. I've read that babies in the first few weeks of their life can get a little gas. So I'm just rubbing the tummy and uh, burping him and trying to help him pass some gas. Fun times. It's okay. It's okay. So it's 6.30 and it's time to cook dinner. I'm gonna make some chicken and uh, some pasta for Scarlett. Scarlett, cook Make chicken in the oven. Bit of pasta and some ground beef is ready. Some, some organic pasta and some ground beef that we got off the farm and some organic tomato sauce. I just finished dinner for uh, Scarlett and little man is hungry again, so I'm nursing again. He's lucky I have so much milk. The baby's asleep and now I'm making a salad to go with our chicken. Avocado, tomatoes, olives, the peppers, and it is all so helping with making a salad. Aren't you Scarlett? It's 8 o'clock and it's a bath time. And this is Scarlett's favorite towel. I love right? this towel. Loves it. And it's time to brush our teeth, Scarlett. Time to brush our teeth. And after a dreadful toothbrush in which it looked quite peaceful on the camera, but then I have to hold her and actually brush her teeth. It's time for to read a little book and then I tell the stories, I dim the lights and we do a nighttime routine. So now that Scarlett is asleep, it's time for some tea for myself and then I'm gonna go upstairs and go to sleep. The little man is gonna wake me up every about two to three hours to nurse. I'm not gonna be filming during the night, so I will see you in the morning. Good morning, little man. Are you ready to eat? So it's 8.20 and I just made our bed. Let me just show a quick video of what we are using currently. So I use 7th generation wipes. I've been using them for Scarlet. 7th generation sensitive skin diapers that are chlorine bleaching lotions and fragrance. It's free. Uh, changing pad which is gonna go on the changing table later on but right now you know it's night he's not in his room so I'm just using the pad and this thing you can either buy um, just like a waterproof sheet and you can put it on the changing pad or those are just um, I think it's sleepy time for uh, adults if they you know pee themselves I use them a lot because uh, changing a little man is much harder than the changing a little girl and he pees all over and then we also use the ND I use the ND with Scarlet as well it's probably the only like chemically thing that I use on my babies and I don't use it all the time it's only when he or she was getting a diaper rash. it's 8 46 and the breakfast is almost ready it's omelet with shiitake mushrooms peppers tomatoes organic eggs everything organic in there and Scarlett is having some avocado. She was supposed to cut it with a butter knife, but she's just been munching on it. She did help me earlier to break up some mushrooms. So if people ask me what I give Scarlett for breakfast, she eats the same thing we eat. Right now she's having an omelet. She probably gets like about an egg and a half and some avocado, and I'm having an omelet and some avocado and some tea. We are going to take a shower now. It's close to nine or right after nine, right Scarlett? Shower time. 10 o'clock and we're going for a walk. I'm using my Orbit Baby bassinet that I didn't use to Scarlet. 10 o'clock. We have a little park in our neighborhood and that's where we're going right now. Uh, while there is still some shade and it's not awfully hot. Is munching. She's sitting in her McLaren stroller. Park in our community right there. And that's where we're gonna spend some time. Who is a big girl? You are such a big girl! So Scarlett is playing with her grandma and I just nursed the little man. So the reason why we're taking two strollers for now is because she, um, he's too little to go into the dual stroller. We got the dual jogging stroller from Bob. So once that in use, I'm gonna do a review on that. But for now, he's in a bassinet and Scarlett is uh, in our umbrella stroller. And this video completes the 24 hours out of my life. Uh, honestly, it's pretty much the same all the time. I'm nursing consistently, pumping consistently, changing diapers consistently, going for walks, putting to bed, doing the nap time routine, bath time, cooking, and laundry. I mean, that's, that's life, that's what you do. But if you like this video, make sure to give me thumbs up and I'll like, subscribe, share, and get notified.